Imagine a world where luxury knows no bounds, where the whims of one man can shape the destiny of an entire nation's economy. This is the realm inhabited by Kim Jong-un, a leader whose penchant for extravagance knows no limits. But what could possibly warrant an expenditure of $8.7 billion? The answer lies in a tale of opulence, ambition, and the insatiable desire for grandeur. Kim Jong-un boasts an estimated net worth of $5 billion, placing him among the wealthiest individuals globally. His position as the supreme leader of North Korea grants him access to an array of luxuries, luxuries far beyond the reach of the average citizen in his country. Join us today as we explore some of the most costly items he has purchased. In 2013, NBA legend and former WCW wrestler Dennis Rodman visited North Korea to meet with Kim Jong-un. During his visit, Rodman had the opportunity to explore Kim's private island, which has been likened to those owned by Richard Branson. This island, often referred to as Pleasure Island, has gained notoriety as a luxurious getaway within North Korea. Rodman observed that Kim was often surrounded by 50 or 60 people, all enjoying themselves with drinks and socializing. The island boasts several amenities, including a runway for planes, a direct train line, and a sports complex. Given Kim's passion for basketball, it's no surprise that he would invest in such a facility. While Rodman was there, the renowned Harlem Globetrotters even played an exhibition match. Rodman also noted the availability of high-quality tequila on the island. Kim is famous for his fondness for expensive alcoholic beverages. In 2015, information surfaced regarding his extravagant spending on liquor. He splurged $290,000 on spirits, $140,000 on champagne and wine, and an additional $70,000 on beer in that single year. Because of his position as a national leader, Kim often opts for limousines when appearing in public. One of his preferred vehicles is the W221 Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman Guard, which he has utilized for his international journeys. Kim's version of this limo was acquired sometime between 2008 and 2013. This 21-foot-long vehicle has undergone modifications to ensure Kim's protection, including armored bodywork and bulletproof glass. Mercedes-Benz is uncertain how Kim acquired this vehicle, especially considering the UN's imposition of sanctions on luxury goods importation to North Korea in 2006. The Pullman features a multimedia system and reclining seats, with the option to install rearward-facing seats for conducting meetings. Its value, with all the enhancements, is estimated to be around $1.6 million. Another limousine occasionally used by Kim is the Mercedes-Benz Maybach 62, introduced in 2002. This vehicle, also 21 feet long, comes equipped with an entertainment system and reclining rear seats. Given Kim's ownership, it has been customized to withstand potential attacks. Unmodified, a limousine of this size typically starts at around $500,000. One significant project undertaken by North Korea was the establishment of the Masikryong Ski Resort. Constructing the resort took a mere 10 months, and it was finished in 2013, opening to the public the following year. The resort's development was purportedly intended to divert attention from South Korea's hosting of the 2018 Winter Olympics. Positioned atop Tehua Peak at approximately 4,500 feet, the Masakryong Resort boasts ski slopes along with amenities such as a luxury hotel, an ice rink, restaurants and swimming pools. The initial phase of construction is estimated to have cost $35.34 million, with North Korea anticipating an annual tourism revenue of nearly $19 million. Additionally, Kim reportedly considered expanding the resort's area by an additional 260 square miles, an endeavor projected to cost around $8 billion. In 2016, professional freeride skier Sam Smoothie from New Zealand visited the Masakryong Slopes, while he found the experience enjoyable, he was puzzled by the resort's lack of visitors. This discrepancy suggests that the initial tourism projections may have been inaccurate. Kim Jong-un reportedly possesses 17 properties across the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Among them, his primary residence is the Ryongsong residence, also recognized as the central luxury mansion, situated in the capital city of Pyongyang. Previously owned by Kim's father and grandfather, former leaders of the DPRK, Kim chose to designate the Ryongsong residence as his main headquarters upon assuming the role of supreme leader. 
This structure functions as a fortified stronghold, enveloped by an electric fence, minefields, and guarded by security checkpoints to deter trespassers. Beneath the building lies a bunker as a precaution against potential attacks, along with an interconnected tunnel system leading to some of Kim's other estates for swift evacuation if necessary. Additionally, there's a private underground railway, the property boasts a lavish garden featuring artificial lakes, a swimming pool with an expansive water slide, a jogging track, sports field, spa, sauna, horse stables with riding facilities, shooting ranges, and a horse racetrack. With such amenities, Kim has ample diversions to occupy his leisure time. In 2013, there was global speculation surrounding a secretive luxury yacht spotted in North Korea, raising questions due to UN sanctions. It was later revealed that the yacht is owned by Kim Jong-un. Yachting was a passion shared by his father, who in 2009 attempted to import two boats into the country. However, authorities intercepted the vessels in Italy before they could reach their intended destination. Kim's yacht, measuring 95 feet in length, is a Princess 95 MY, manufactured by Princess Yachts in Plymouth, England, the means by which the yacht arrived in North Korea remains unknown. Although production of the 95MY ceased some years ago, its initial cost was estimated at $7 million, with second-hand models now priced around $3 million. The yacht can accommodate eight guests in four cabins, along with six crew members in three cabins, and features amenities like a cocktail bar. A newer model, the 97MY, commands a price tag of up to $8.7 million when purchased brand new. Each leader of North Korea has a preference for using their private train when traversing the country, and at times, they even utilize it for international appearances. This inclination is quite understandable given their ownership of these trains. Recently, amid the mystery surrounding Kim Jong-un's whereabouts, news outlets have speculated about his location based on the whereabouts of his favored train. When the Kim family embarks on journeys, they typically depart with three trains, with their personal one positioned in the middle. The lead train is responsible for ensuring the safety of the railway track, while the rear one accommodates additional staff and equipment. Painted in dark green with a yellow stripe, the Kim family train comprises 21 carriages, all armored to withstand potential attacks and featuring tinted windows for privacy. However, due to the added weight of the protective measures, these trains can only achieve a maximum speed of 37 miles per hour. The interior of these trains exudes opulence, equipped with satellite phones for uninterrupted communication, plush leather seating, Apple computers, and a selection of luxury beverages to enhance comfort during the journey. Before we continue our account of Kim Jong-un's extravagant lifestyle, we would love to invite you to be part of our community. Hit that like button if you're relishing this revelation of some of the most extravagant acquisitions made by Kim. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all things luxurious, and don't forget to tap the notification bell to ensure you never miss a moment of our exciting content. The Kim family had a strong affinity for the world of cinema. Kim Jong-il, in particular, authored books on the topic, many of which delved into the role of cinema as a propaganda tool. This passion evidently influenced his son, Kim Jong-un, who is rumored to have established a lavish private cinema. It is believed to accommodate up to 1,000 viewers, a stark contrast to the average multiplex cinema screen, which seats around 200 people. While the precise cost of Kim's cinema remains undisclosed, some companies have provided estimates for constructing a luxury cinema, ranging from $100,000 to $800,000. These figures do not include expenses for items like popcorn. Kim's extensive DVD collection, comprising 20,000 films primarily sourced from the U.S., ensures he has an ample selection of content to enjoy on his screen. Being wealthy often entails possessing a watch collection that evokes envy worldwide, and Kim Jong-un is no different. According to certain reports, in 2012, he allocated $220,000 to procure luxury watches for himself and as gifts for others. By 2013, this figure reportedly surged to $8.2 million, despite the luxury item sanctions imposed by the United Nations. Kim has been observed sporting various timepieces, including the IWC Portofino Automatic in 2019, valued at approximately $18,000 when new 
Additionally, he has been seen wearing two Movado Museum classic watches on separate occasions. The black classic variant carries a price tag of nearly $1,000, comparatively modest next to the IWC watch. Both Movado watches utilize a Swiss quartz movement, suggesting that Kim may have acquired a penchant for expensive timepieces during his education in Switzerland. When necessary, Kim Jong-un is willing to take to the skies, unlike his father, Kim Jong-il, who harbored a fear of flying and therefore opted for train travel whenever possible. Kim has access to two private planes, both operated by the state-owned airline Air Corio. The first aircraft is the Soviet Union-manufactured Ilyushin IL-76, which dates back to its initial development in 1967. This heavy cargo plane, sometimes referred to as Air Force Un by the media, is believed to have transported Kim's limousines in its cargo hold during long journeys. Inside, the jet has been customized to accommodate Kim's lavish lifestyle, boasting leather and luxury seats suitable for conducting meetings mid-flight. While it was once capable of traveling 6,000 miles in its prime, its age has inevitably reduced its range. Additionally, Kim owns an Antonov AN-148, a Ukrainian aircraft introduced in 2002, which Air Koryo acquired in 2013. This jet, too, features opulent interior enhancements. The cost of purchasing a new AN-148 typically falls between 20 to 30 million dollars. Whenever Kim appears in public with his limousine, a team of 12 bodyguards runs alongside the vehicle in a formation designed to protect Kim and swiftly respond to any potential threats. Journalist Anna Fifield has noted that Kim Jong-un drew inspiration for this security arrangement from the 1993 film In the Line of Fire, featuring Clint Eastwood. Kim's security detail comprises an elite military force selected from North Korea's most loyal families, undergoing rigorous background checks. Being chosen for this role is considered an honor, but it comes with strict requirements. Bodyguards must not exceed Kim's height, must have no vision impairments, and must possess exceptional fitness, marksmanship, and martial arts abilities. During his 2018 trip to Singapore to meet Donald Trump, the meeting's cost amounted to $20 million, with half allocated to Kim's security detail. To further enhance his protection, Kim has taken additional precautions by using multiple personal toilets. This measure aims to prevent adversaries from obtaining any potentially compromising health information about Kim from public sewage systems. As we conclude our exploration into the extravagant acquisitions of Kim Jong-un, it's clear that his opulent lifestyle knows no bounds. From luxurious private islands to state-of-the-art vehicles and beyond, Kim's penchant for lavish spending is undeniable. But the allure of such extravagance also raises questions about the stark wealth disparity in North Korea and the ethical considerations surrounding Kim's spending habits. If you found this journey through Kim Jong-un's expensive items intriguing, be sure to subscribe for more insightful content on global affairs, luxury living, and the intersection of wealth and power. Join our community and stay informed about the world's most fascinating stories. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay curious. Exploring the pinnacle of luxury with Luxury Queen.